Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I am going to predict another question in the UPSC prelims 2023. Guys, you all know that UPSC is very fond of asking questions from the space technology, particularly if it is related to ISRO. So guys, this year, the government of India has come out with a new space policy and therefore, I have a very strong feeling that definitely question is going to come from this policy or from the institutions related to ISRO. So guys, let us see what is the policy. So the policy has institutionalized the private sector participation in space sector. So now in space sector, private sector participation is now institutionalized. Institutionalized means there are institutions created to facilitate private sector participation in space sector. Guys, ISRO will now focus only on research and development of advanced space technology. So ISRO is not going to now do, okay, la la launching of rockets, etc, etc. It will go for advanced research and technology. This is very important. The policy will allow private sector to take part end-to-end -end space activities that include building satellites, rockets, launch vehicles, data collection and dissemination. So the task of building rockets, uh, launchers, etc, etc will be now given to the private sector. ISRO will do now research and development of advanced space technology. This is very, very important. So this space policy has delineated roles and responsibilities of ISRO and New Space India Limited, NSIL, which is a PSU, which is a PSU and India Space Promotion and Authorization Center, which is an basically a single window center. Okay. So let us see what is the role given to ISRO, what is the role given to NSIL and what is the role given to InSpace. So you can guys, you can see here strategic activities related to the space sector will be carried out by NSIL, which will be a public sector undertaking under the Department of Space and which will work in a demand driven mode. Okay, so NSIL is what? NSIL is a PSU, is a central PSU, which is working under Department of Space and this will take care of the strategic activities okay of the space sector next there is in space what is the role of in space in space has been created as an interface between the private sector and the isro this is very important okay it's like an interface it is basically there to incentivize more and more private participation in the space sector okay the policy also spells out the framework for private participation to use the isro facilities for a small charge so now the private sector can use ISRO facilities for small charge. Okay guys, let us see the operational part of ISRO missions will be moved to New Space India Limited. Okay, so this PSU with the NSIL, okay, the operational part of the ISRO will be now moved to NSIL which is a public sector under the Department of Space. So this is very important. The operational part of ISRO, okay, ISRO is going to focus more on research. The operational part of ISRO will be given to NSIL which will be a central public sector under the Department of Space and we will be having another autonomous organization called InSpace which is for facilitation of private sector. So what I have done is that I have created separate okay, cards for each and every topic. You see here N, New Space India Limited and SIL which is a public sector. It is a central public sector unit. It was established in 2019 under the administrative control of Department of Space. It is headquartered in Bengaluru. The main objective is to basically, okay, tackle the operational part of ISRO. Okay, you can see the mandate here. Okay, owning satellites for earth observation and communication applications and providing space-based services. So it will provide space-based services, building satellites and launching them as per demand. So whatever satellites are in demand, they will build it and they will launch it. Providing launch services for satellites belonging to customers. So they will provide launch services it's like a commercial arm. It's like a commercial arm of ISRO. Okay. So building launch vehicles through Indian industry and launch as per the satellite customer's requirement, space-based services related to earth observation and communication and satellite building through Indian industry and transfer of technology to Indian industry. Okay. It is very important. So you, you have to remember one thing. NSIL is different from the Antrix Corporation. Okay. It is different from Antrix Corporation. This is very important. Okay, so uh, guys, let us see. Okay, because Antrix was based for foreign customers. Okay, now let us see the next. Okay, let us see now the next. Okay, in space. So guys, you can see here. Okay, the in space was created as a single window, independent nodal agency, which functions as an autonomous agency in Department of Space. This is very important. 
So NSIL was a PSU, Central Public Sector and Unit. It is an autonomous agency. This is very important. It is an autonomous. It is not a PSU. It is an autonomous agency. It is a single window independent nodal agency under Department of State, established as a single window agency for all space related activities of private entities. So it is majorly there to facilitate okay development. of space activities in the private sector in space plays a important role in boosting private sector okay uh, economy as far as space is concerned okay so basically to develop the private space sector okay is very important in space is responsible to promote enable authorize and supervise various activities of the ngs ngs means non governmental entities that include among others building launch vehicles satellites and providing space services and sharing space infrastructure and premises under the department of space and isro so sharing also of department premises will be facilitated by okay this in space so this is very important in space also i have made one card just remember it is a agency it's an independent autonomous agency under department of space to facilitate private sector to facilitate private sector and that nsil was a public sector which will handle the operational part of isro and isro will now only do high research and development guys one more development this year there was okay successful launch of vikram s okay very important you can guys you can see here vikram s okay you can see the first ever sub orbital launch of rocket called vikram s by indian private company skyroot aerospace happened on november 18 2022 it's a private first private rocket launch okay and which is that corporation skyroot aerospace skyroot aerospace dhruv space build and launched satellite thibolt 1 and thibolt 2 uh, abroad the pslv c5 is very important dhruv space has built that okay satellite thibolt 1 and thibolt 2 launch of space image based weather in uh, information okay mobile application and all that so this this is very important that's okay vikram s okay vikram s Okay, this is very very important. So, it is a private rocket. Okay, it's a private company. Okay, private rocket. Okay, uh, this is very important because this is the first time. Okay, we have achieved this. So, you see how we are. Okay, we are trying to basically facilitate private sector to okay launch their own satellites, launch their own launch to have their own launch vehicles. Okay. So, under the mission, Vikram S will carry three customer satellites in suborbital flight. suborbital flights travel slower than orbital velocities they are fast enough to reach outer space but not fast enough to stay in the orbit around the earth so the sky route was the first startup to sign a memorandum of understanding with isro to launch its rockets vehicles are crafted specially for small satellite market okay so this is basically rocket is for small satellite this is very important this is for the small satellite this is very very important you should definitely prepare this this is a very important question which can come in the prelims examination let me uh, uh, one more uh, thing which is important this year is the small satellite launch vehicle okay sslv so you see here the there has been a successful launch of eos 07 janus 1 and azadi sat 2 satellites into 450 km circular orbit on february 10 2023 from okay the sri harikota launch uh, pad ss uh, ss uh, lv caters to launch up to 500 kg of satellites in the lower earth orbit on launch on demand basis it provides low cost to space offers low turnaround time and flexibility in accommodating multiple satellites and demands minimal launch infrastructure so this is for small satellites this is for small satellites weight is 500 kg and it is only in the lower earth orbit lower earth orbit this sslv very very important okay now let us see further there are two more important thing which is important for this year's prelims examination is the first private launch pad mission control center established in isro so isro has now allowed a private sector startup which is agnikul to basically set up its launch pad and mission control center inside the satish dhawan space center c harikota this is very very important agnikul next you can see and this was facilitated by in space as i told you in space is basically to facilitate private sector participation in launch and in satellite launch etc etc 
Now you see one more thing which is very important, signing MOU with a platform for innovation, curation and venture development. So guys, ISRO has signed an MOU with Social Alpha on December 26, 2022 to launch Space Tech Innovation Network, so SPIN. Okay, this is for basically entrepreneurship in space sector. Okay, and to facilitate startups in space sector, space sector, SPIN. So it is a MOU between ISRO and Social Alpha. This is also very, very important. Next guys, I would like to just tell you that uh, uh, we are very proud that one of our student from our main mentorship program and who was a follower of daily prelims notes has secured the top rank in the civil services 22